Welcome to another episode of our Government Job Series. In this video, we will take you through the recruitment of Central Armed Police Forces for the vacancies of Assistant Commandants. Avantika Kansal and I am here to help you through the application process and offer tips on how to make your application stand out. In this video, candidates will get to know about CAPF 2023 Assistant Commandant's Recruitment, Eligibility Criteria, Selection Process, Salary and other minute details. UPSC has released the official notification on 26th of April 2023. Online application has started on 26th of April 2023 and the last date to apply for the exam is till 16th of May 2023. Written examination for CAPF will be held on 6th of August 2023. The physical efficiency test would be in October 2023 for which final date is yet to be decided. In order to fill out the form, visit the official site of UPSC. On the home page, check the News Events tab. Then click on CAPF AC 2023 notification. You will see the Apply Online button. Click there. You will be redirected to a new page. Click on the New Registration button. Fill in all the basic details on the registration form. The application form is in two parts. Fill all the details in Part 1 and pay the amount of the fee in Part 2. Once the application form is filled out and the payment is done, the application process for CAPF is complete. Save the application form for further updates. And rest of the process can be found in the link mentioned below. The number of vacancies for CAPF 2023 Assistant Commandants are 322. These are further divided into Border Security Force which has 86 seats, then Central Reserve Police Force which has 55 seats, Central Industry Security Post which has 91 seats, Indo-Tibetan Border Police which has 60 seats and Shast Seema Bal which has 30 seats. Now let us look at the eligibility criteria. First is nationality. No person who is not a citizen of India shall, except with the consent of central government signified in writing will be appointed or employed under these rules, provided that nothing contained in these rules shall debar the appointment, enrollment or employment of a subject of Nepal or Bhutan under these rules. Both male and female candidates are eligible for appointment to the post of assistant commandants. A candidate must have attained the age of 20 years and must not have attained the age of 25 years on 1st of August 2023. That is, he, she must have been born not earlier than 2nd August 1998 and not later than 1st August 2003. Age relaxation is therefore first up to a maximum of 5 years if a candidate belongs to a scheduled caste or a scheduled tribe. Second is up to a maximum of 3 years in the case of candidates belonging to other backward classes who are eligible to avail of reservation applicable to such candidates. Third is up to a maximum of 5 years for civilian central government servants in accordance with the existing instructions of the central government. Ex-servicemen will also be eligible for this relaxation. However, the total relaxation claimed on account of government service will be limited to five years. A candidate must hold a bachelor's degree of a university incorporated by an act of the central or state legislature in India or other educational institutions established by an act of parliament or declared to be or deemed as a university under Section 3 of University Grants Commission Act 1956 or possess an equivalent qualification. CAPF AC's exam consists of three stages, written examination, physical fitness test and interview round. Candidates, except for female SC and ST candidates who are exempted from the payment of fee, are required to pay a fee of Rs 200. So that was all related to Central Armed Police Forces for the vacancies of Assistant Commandants. I will see you soon with another job opportunity. Till then, I wish you all the luck in grabbing this opportunity our government has provided for us. This is Avantika Kansal signing off.